Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial video of how to start with FastLive. So, FastLive is a just-in-time compiler for Fast. Its purpose is to create a dynamic environment for Fast prototyping. From this presentation menu, we can open a new duffel window in which we can drop a DSP like this harp automation. The harp was dynamically compiled and it is now a standard Qt and Core audio application. From there, I can edit the source of the application, like for example, the number of strings I can change from 13 to 11. And as I save the document, the application is recompiled. And now that you have changed what you wanted, you can go to export and see all the applications and plugin you can create from your Faust code. For example, an Android application, um, a Max MSP plugin, a web application. Let's see this web application. Now, when you unzip it, you can open it in Firefox, and there you have your nat native application. Back to FastLive, you can open other examples like Freeverb. And what we want to do is connect the harp to the Freeverb. So in the preferences, we can switch from Core Audio to Jack. That way, in QJackCTL, I can connect the harp to the Freeverb. And once you have made connections between two windows, they remain that way if you change the DSP in them. Moreover, we calculate a crossfade between like the free verb and the echo to avoid brutal interruption of the sound. And now that you have a configuration you like, you can save it by taking a snapshot that you can call, I don't know, Hypewawa. And whenever you want, you can recall your snapshots. Recalling a snapshot closes every window You can also import a snapshot, which adds it to the cure window. You can add really anything. Well, this was many features of Fast Live, and the last one I want to show you is that you can have a remote interface of your application. In the Windows option, you can see that you can enable an OSC interface, well, you can change the port you want, and you can also enable a, an HTTP remote interface. So if you go to Window View Cure Code, you can access the remote interface. And by scanning the Cure Code with a portable device, you can have it 
anywhere you want. So this is all I wanted to show you. Thank you.